to install and configure a wireless adapter on a Raspberry Pi, we first must ensure that we have an internet connection, so we must have a wired connection to the internet. The wireless adapter should be connected to a USB hub and not connected directly to the Raspberry Pi. And to continue with the installation, we need to first determine the manufacturer of the wireless adapter, search for the firmware package and download it. Identify the available wireless access points and modify some configuration files to ensure the wireless adapter connects correctly. To open an LX terminal, click on Accessories and LX Terminal from the submenu. To read the error messages produced by the kernel, which should identify the manufacturer of the Wi-Fi adapter, we enter the instruction DMESG, and to cut down the number of returns, we use pipe GREP and then USB. We now see that we're looking for all the USB entries. And if we go through the list, we should see a Wi-Fi adapter. So the manufacturer is a real tech for my particular Wi-Fi adapter. To search for the firmware package to support your Wi-Fi adapter, we need to enter the instruction apt-cache search and then the search criteria firmware wireless We can see there are various firmware packages and the one I particularly need is the Realtek. To install the firmware package you type sudo apt-get install and then the name of the firmware package and the one for my particular Wi-Fi adapter is firmware-realtek. To identify the available Wi-Fi access points, type sudo iwlist scan. Here you can see the Wi-Fi adapter has picked up my orange USB stick which I intend to connect. We now need to modify the interfaces document. To do that, change directory to slash etc slash networks And now enter the instruction sudo nano 
interfaces. And at the bottom of the document, enter auto WLAN zero. I face WLAN zero. INET DHCP. And finally, WPA dash CONNF slash ETC slash WPA dot CONF. Then control. O return control X to exit. Next we need to identify the encryption key to the Raspberry Pi. To do this we either modify or add a new file called wpa.conf to the etc directory. We start by changing directory to EDC and then opening the file with sudo nano wpa.conf. In this file, we first of all type network equals open curly brackets return tab. And the first line identifies the SSID for the network, which in this particular instance is orange USB. Next, we identify the key management, which in most instances will be WPA-PSK, unless you have an older WEP key. And finally, you identify the actual encryption code, which will be PSK equals for this political network, it is password with some changes. Finally, we close the curly brackets. Press Control O to save and Control X to exit. After shutting down and removing the network cable, we type IWconfig again. And now we can see that the wireless adapter is connected to the access point using an 802.11bg the SSID orange USB the access point MAC address and the speed so we now know that we're fully connected